berry. I can't put it down if you stood in the way. There we go. All sorted. I got a bit excited this morning with the berries, so I got a bit too much smoothie than I anticipated, but it's fine. It's delicious and so refreshing. Ah, oh, welcome back to another video. Sorry I've been MIA recently, I was a bit unwell last week. If you follow me on Instagram then I usually post there and just kind of keep you guys up to date with what's going on in my life, but I'm back today and I'm feeling really, really good. I'm really excited for the day. It's a beautiful sunny morning, so oh, I've got hair. Ah. Uh, Oh my gosh, I think actually that was one of my hairs. It's usually one of the cat's hairs. <laughs> Beautiful. Sunny morning, you can hear the washing machine. In the other room, just it's got a life of its own. So I'm getting the washing on early. I'm gonna go do a full food shop, just have a nice reset of the house and get it ready for the week ahead. Because I've not felt great the last few weeks, but I'm starting to feel a lot better now. Um, so that's the plan. So I'm gonna have this smoothie concoction. I rotate between what I have for breakfast. I've been really enjoying Weetabix for breakfast but it's shopping day so we desperately need lots and lots of different foods in the house including my Weetabix. So I'm starting the day backwards. I'm having my smoothie first. I'll probably have my Weetabix as my like second breakfast later on but I'm gonna um, use my wheat Lemon planner to take last week's off. I sell these in my Etsy shop if you don't already know. I'll leave the link down below. The links are always down below. But I find these so helpful when you're trying to do a weekly meal plan because then you can see all the days, you know, all the snacks. You can literally accommodate for every single meal and it really helps me to keep on track um, and accountable as well. Like I feel like if I put time into this, it's so much harder to not want to do the meals. So that's what I'm gonna do. I will show you guys once it's all done and then I'm gonna head off to the supermarket and yeah, then get back. Hopefully the washing machine will be done by then and I can hang all the washing out and it's just gonna be a really good day. So I hope this video helps you and inspires you if you need a day similar to this one and just shows you that it's effortless to just flow through the day when you're having a good day and just really try and get back on top of your life, your health and your home because I think they all trickle into each other, don't they? We all know as soon as you're unwell, one thing slides, the next thing slides and it just turns just upside down. So it feels really good for me today to be getting back on top of it all, I'm having a makeup free day. <laughs> the hair is tied back. It's going to be like 28 degrees today, which is hot um, for England and hot for me. <laughs> so <laughs> definitely feeling the heat these days. Um, so I'm just going to take it slow and we'll see where the day takes us. But thank you for being here and yeah, I'm going to stop procrastinating and drink my smoothie and make this shopping list. Ugh. <laughs> So some weeks I know what I want and some weeks I just don't and I think when it gets hot I really don't know what to eat because I love like really nourishing comfort foods like stews, soups, curries and stuff but when it gets hot that's not what I want. So I've got literally an absolute bible of recipe cards from HelloFresh and other places and also all of my meal plans from uh, when I was 
dieted, I guess you could say, before the wedding last year. It was much more of a lower carb diet. I'm not following a low carb diet now, but some of the recipes that I was following back then were just delicious and so simple and easy as well. So I am gonna um, have a little look through this morning and try and get some Oh, see, like, that sounds so nice. <laughs> just try and get some more ideas just for some simple recipes that are a bit more fresh, a bit more light and healthy and also easy. A lot of them were like marinated recipes and I just, I'm craving this sort of food so much. Um, the same thing happened to me last year. So yeah, I'm just going to have a look through, try and finish off my little meal plan and then we can get to the shop. There we go, all done now. I'm just going to pop this little list here into my phone. There's not actually that much I need. Um, I do have a lot of these bits in the house. Like I know I've got loads of frozen chicken so I can just get that out and defrost it as and when. I've got a pack of Thai um, curry paste stuff. And the rest of it's pretty simple. Oh, actually, I do need to put rice on here. I am going to be a bit of a lazy, lazy maisy this week and just get some packet rice. Just because I'm really trying to eat a bit healthier um, for me, for Bub, and for Dom as well. You know, I just think it's such a nice time of year to just eat light, fresh, delicious food and... You have to make it accessible to yourself. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get some really yummy rices in and we're just going to have a lot of rice, a lot of potatoes. Um, there's times like with these kind of meals where Dom wouldn't find it filling enough. So he often would have it with homemade chips and garlic bread and just kind of add stuff to it. I mean, I often have garlic bread as well and chips, but sometimes I just prefer something lighter, like something just like rice because I just find it suits me a lot better. So that is our little meal plan. So I would just show you in case you wanted to see, hopefully you can see it. I like to write in pencil. Um, and then, yeah, let's get off to the shop. just at Tesco now. I cannot park this car to save my life. I just had so much space and I still had to reverse and straighten it up. I don't know what it is about this car, just I cannot park it. Doesn't matter what I'm doing, where I'm going. Do you know the best parking I can do is like a reverse park and even then I'm still so close to the line. I just need to go to like a big empty car park and teach myself how to reverse. I can reverse our other car so well and it's so much longer than this one. I've got no idea why. Anyway, you didn't come here to hear about my car drama. I've picked up my prescription that I needed to pick up yesterday and didn't get a chance to do. And um, yeah, now I'm gonna head into Tesco. I was gonna go to Lidl, but I've decided I prefer Tesco's strawberries and berries at the minute and seeing as though they're in season, I just want to make the most of them being so delicious. I ate like a full punnet of blueberries the other day because they were just so good. Um, I'm going to get some cash out and I think I'm going to wash my car because it's filthy. So that's the plan. Let's head in. Um, I hit the complete wrong time of day as well. It's literally like kids starting school time. It's so busy everywhere. Sometimes forget things like this. <laughs> it was like a car park. Everywhere is gridlocked. But alas, hopefully that means the supermarket will be quiet.
thought I would do a little food haul, quite a healthy food haul actually this week. I'm pretty proud of myself. Um, as I said, we've still got some stuff in the fridge, sort of like a, I did like a midweek shop. So we've got some mushrooms. I'm really enjoying having mushrooms on toast with avocado at the minute so good some spinach some other greens i got these packets because they were actually cheaper in the end so asparagus and tender stem broccoli and then i also got the ones with beans also got avocados and then i got some strawberries and some blueberries i didn't have the blueberries in that i had the other day that were so delicious so i really hope these are nice i got some salmon some eggs i love these eggs so much they are so delicious sweet potato i got some ciabatta rolls to put in the freezer for dom and just for like nice easy lunches for me as well. I love a tuna mayo sandwich at the minute. I got some naan bread for our curry that we're going to have. I've got um, a UTI which is why I'm on antibiotics and I've been a bit unwell so I'm trying to drink more cranberry juice and I really love cranberry juice but my ultimate craving at the minute is clementine juice. Oh it's so good. I could drink like a full bottle a day but I tried to um, pace myself. <laughs> I've also got some kefir uh, because of the antibiotics, I'm just trying to drink more things with probiotics in. Some normal milk at the back there, some baby bells, some lemons, oh, some chocolate, caramel magnums, yum, and fabs. I had a fab at my dad's the other day for the first time in years, and it was delicious. I also got some rice, I've got different ones, so basmati, jasmine, and normal long grain. Then I've got some wheat bix I was nearly tempted by the chocolate ones, but I stuck to what I know. Uh, Dom's granola that we like to mix in with this other granola that I make and some cat food for the cats. Now it's getting hotter again. They're enjoying wet food more, which is good because it means they're drinking more. And then it's got some Father's Day cards as well. And I've just realized, you see Echo there, just living his best life. These need to um, be refreshed and we have plenty out there. So I'm gonna take the washing out after I put all this away and I can refresh all my flowers as well. I've got quite a bit of fruit left over as you can tell. I'm in a very citrusy mood at the moment. I've been really enjoying oranges and just like lemon water and oh, all the things. So yeah, pretty pleased with that. I'm just gonna pop it all away now. just doing my water um since being pregnant i don't really make this vlog about pregnancy really but it's kind of part of my life so just everything's kind of related i guess um i've just had this horrible horrible metal taste in my mouth i just can't get rid of it and some days it's worse than others but if it's really bad it just really i lose my appetite so much so i'm really trying to like have things that help it and for a long time I've drank just plain water as you guys know if you follow me closely I just can't stand it anymore it's so hard to drink because it just tastes like metal <laughs> so I um, started drinking I call it a juice but I think a lot of people would call it dilute juice um, especially Vimto for a while which is so unlike me I just I've never really been someone who needs the extra flavour in water I just enjoyed plain water until now <laughs> so Anyway, that was doing me well and then I, I just went off it, like instantly went off it overnight, which was really convenient. <laughs> and so I thought, what shall I have? And so I started making this fruity water and it's been a godsend. I got this jug from Amazon. I'll leave it linked down below and I just pop it in the fridge. I chop up some cucumber, some strawberry and some lemon. And then, I'm sorry if I'm sniffling as well, I've got hay fever, <laughs> it's, it's all going on. Um, I just leave it in the fridge all day and then I know when I've, I literally will fill this up, pour an entire glass, then fill the rest up, put that in the fridge and I know if I've drank that in a day, I'm doing well. 
Because the other thing that happens if I just drink enough, I just get a horrendous headache, which I think a lot of us do from the dehydration. And with it being so hot at the minute, it's just so necessary. I cannot wait for this. There is nothing that quenches my thirst quite as much. And there's so many good nutrients and like minerals, I think. I think it's minerals. Yeah, like minerals and stuff in here. So really nice. See Rory chasing after birds, trying to catch them out of the sky out there. <laughs> Bless it. So I'm going to make my Weetabix. I was trying to decide if I was just going to have like savoury, but I actually really fancy Weetabix and strawberry. So I'm going to have that now head out into the garden, enjoy a bit of sunshine before it gets too hot, and then do a bit of housework, I think. Oh my goodness me. Right, there we go. All done, ready for the fridge. It's not always a I feel like as the day goes by I'm getting more and more bedraggled and my nose is getting more and more red. I love it outside but the outside hates me in summer. I am going to fill up my vitamins. Um, this is something that I try and do every Wednesday. Wednesday is my changeover day in my pregnancy so it just feels like an anchor point day. Oh my god I'm going to have to blow my nose. <laughs> okay we're back. So I've just got my vitamins here that I'm just going to fill these up. Um, and then I'm good for the week then, I know what I'm doing, I know I've taken them, and I know if I forgot to take them. Um, and I just feel like that way it just keeps me most accountable. So I'm just going to do this now. And then, half the washing was actually dry. So I'm going to put this away, because it's one of my jobs I hate the most. And then I just want to whiz around and just do a bit of tidying up. Um, yeah, just to get on top of the housework a little bit now. Having been poorly for quite a while, and... Um, Hi Rory. How are you doing? <laughs> yeah, and just kind of um just kind of slacking a little bit, so just ready to pick the house back up. You should know
How stunning are these peonies, by the way? I know this one's kind of turning now, but they're just so massive. These were actually from my dad's garden. He's got a massive peony plant or bush. I can't believe how gorgeous they are. Look at the colour. Literally my favourite flower ever. They're so stunning. Love them. I think I'm going to leave today's video here. I'm pretty happy with what I've got done today in terms of it being a reset. I don't want to say reset day. It's just been a day where I got back on top of all the jobs I needed to do. Got back on top of the house, you know, sorted all my vitamins out. Just had a bit of a, a reset for the week ahead, if that makes sense, even though the week has already begun in my life. Hopefully I'll post this on a, you know, weekend and you guys can get inspiration to start your weeks off better than I did this week. <laughs> I really hope you've enjoyed this. I'm really trying to get back into the swing of YouTube and filming and bringing you guys along on this journey with me. Um, we've got lots and lots of decluttering, organising and all sorts of stuff to do over the next few months so definitely going to be bringing you all along with me sorry I'm out of breath I just ran down the stairs oh, let me compose myself <laughs> there's nothing worse than listening to someone who's just completely out of breath trying to speak goodness me but yes yeah, so we've got a lot to be getting on with over the next few weeks so I definitely want to start vlogging again and sharing my normal Sunday vlogs and just sharing Saturday vlogs whenever the inspiration strikes me and I have something I feel I want to share you know something I feel worthy of sharing I never just want to share because that's the days that I've decided I'm gonna film because I think if my heart's not in it I just don't think it's the best content for you all so hopefully you understand that but I'm gonna try to get back to doing my two videos a week eventually <laughs> famous last words. <laughs> anyway, I really hope you all have an amazing week ahead. I hope you've all had a lovely day today or having a lovely day and yeah, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and I shall see you all again in my next video. Bye!